Yeah. $35.11. She kept telling me God's paying for my meal. And I'm like, man, I'm sorry, but God's not buying dinner today. Right. You owe me dinner. She goes, it's been taken care of. Do you know Jesus? What? Do you know Jesus? I know Jesus. Jesus loves you. Did you pay for the food that you ordered? So the end, you did not? Jesus paid for it. Did you see Jesus paying for it? April 4, 2024, a call was made to a Texas roadhouse for a disorderly woman who claimed God is paying for her food. What you also could do is slip over to option so I'll make it over 23. Okay. Let's do that real quick. Back at 773 on Opsom 23 restaurant. What's going on? Come on. Hey, what's going on? So they, they took off false paying. Is that what happened? Yeah. Thirty-five dollars and eleven cents. She kept telling me God's paying for my meal, and I'm like, man, I'm sorry, but God's not buying dinner today. Right. You owe me dinner. She goes, it's been taken care of. Like, Ma'am, this is called theft of service. Yeah. I will prosecute this. Okay. You will be banned from this. You can't ban me from here. Like, well, unfortunately, I can. She so, alone. Yep. Take by herself. Okay. Um, and then basically that conversation takes place and she just walks on out. Yep, and I followed her out to her car, got her license plate number, she okay. got on the frontage road, went that way. Okay. The frontage notes. Um, what do you want done with it if we, if we do like, track her down? I would like to get my $35.11 and then have her banned from the establishment okay. and move on from that. I mean... Do you have banned paperwork? No, we never yeah. had to do it. I don't even know what the hell I'm supposed to do, to be honest with you. You guys have to have the ban paperwork. We can't ban her from here. You oh. guys have to do it. Um, it's okay. literally something you can type up. Oh, yeah. And, and unfortunately, we already scoped her out on Facebook because she gave me her first name and her last name, and it's literally her. Okay. So you probably won't find her. You know, my people work too well, damn hard to be Yeah, we, have, we might be able to based on her license plate and yeah. um, tracking that down. So there's there's certainly a chance we could. Okay. Um, if you if you want if we do locate her, what time do you guys like actually head on out of here? I'll be Close. gone. I'll be gone hopefully in the next 35 40 minutes. So I'll be back tomorrow by 12 o'clock. Okay. If we do find her tonight, you want her if we can come back, pay. pay she, ain't she, gonna, she ain't gonna pay, but if you, if I can get my money, that'd okay. be great. And if you want to try to type up some sort of paperwork, nothing. Yeah. Yeah, and whether it's today, another day, yeah. it'd be good to have on hand just in case. Absolutely. Okay, let me and get I'm, your info really yeah, quick. Sure. And I'm sure that um, my company probably has shit in file somewhere and whatever else, but... Just to clarify, Texas Roadhouse will prosecute her for $35 um, if she's not willing to pay. I'll talk to the owner, but I'm pretty sure of it. Okay. Can you make that call now or no? Is that not something? He's not back until tomorrow morning from vacation. Okay. I, will, I will go on record for saying yes. Okay. Not to be a jerk over 35 bucks, but no, no, sorry. No, I'm sorry. That's, that's not, not, not her dis- first time doing this. I'm not to disagreeing me. with you. I just sometimes yeah. you versus the staff, the right. business, you know, because I mean, right. Um, um, this is a, it's a company store. Yeah, it's, that's the actual owner, and he works here. He's the managing partner. But um, it's the second time she's done this to me personally, so I'm over. If I don't type it up before I leave tonight, I'll take They're under ban. They don't have ban paperwork right now, but they do want to prosecute if she's not willing to pay. They are willing to just take the money if she's willing to pay that. Yeah. Um, is your address the same as your driver's license? Yeah. Okay. Um, what's the store phone number? Um, okay, if you want to just uh, keep doing your thing, if we end up locating her and coming back, we'll go back and I'll give you a call. Yeah, I'll, I'll Even I'll if I'll you call. guys are gone, I might call you. Yeah, you know, hey, we located her. She's willing to pay. Uh, maybe tomorrow we can hand facilitate that or, or whatever it is. Absolutely. Or, uh, you know, couldn't locate her or whatever. Whatever you know. Like, know. like I said, I know you guys got too much shit going on. How much, how much is the... Thirty-five dollars and eleven cents. You want a copy of the check? Yes. Do you have it? Yeah. So you on the house? Are you on the house? So they're out. With so them. I heard that. Yeah. yeah. Um, nice. I don't know. She's not. Yeah. 
doesn't sound like it. She's uh, is this a copy of it or copy that's of the copy? actual that's the actual bill she was given? Okay. So and she handed it to me personally and said God paid for this. Okay. So I can take it with me. Yeah. It's okay. yours. I have another copy of it. Okay. So it's not a problem. Okay. I can pull up all that stuff like that. But okay. it was her first time? I'd be like, all right, what the you know. This don't come back, whatever. Yeah. This is the second time she's done it to me. Okay. I'm over her game. Okay. Because yeah. they knew who she was last time she did it. Okay. By name. So and that's a sad thing. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. All right. Yeah. Appreciate it, guys. Like I said, it seems as if the woman decided to dine and dash, then went home. Okay. I just, I, I don't try it in your face. I'm just trying to figure out what's going on at Texas Roadhouse. I don't know. What's going on. Well, they're claiming that you uh, didn't pay your bill. Oh. Well, you could see why I'd find that hard to believe when you just decided to flee from my traffic stop, right? I didn't see you out. Oh, you didn't see me get out? Well, it doesn't matter if you saw me get out. You you fled from a traffic stop, right? Because, you know, the lights were on, you pulled over, and then at that point, then you fled, right? <laughs> yes, I did. Okay. You have a driver's license on you? Sure. All right, I appreciate it. Can I see it? Okay, have you had any alcohol tonight, or are you on drugs, or what, what, what's what's your what's your deal here? Okay. Huh? I'm just trying to see everything in the vehicle. Okay. Uh, you're acting really odd. I don't know what your deal is. Do you have a driver's license on you or not? I do. Okay. Can you provide that for me now? I can. Okay, grab it. Hand it to me. I don't know how to make that any more clear. The next step is I pull you out of this car, put you in cuffs, and you sit in my car. I really don't want to do that. <laughs> I'd rather just get your ID so we can get this solved and I can go back to doing what I was doing before this whole thing. I don't know what you're whispering. Can't mess, with God. can't mess with God's property? Well, I'm not messing with anything. I'm just asking for your ID. My cat's 723. I'll keep my back. She's 1096. Go for her. Oh, can, can I get help you? Can you get the ID, please? You can. Okay, give it to me. I'm trying to go in. I hope you have a nice one. <laughs> you can try and go in? Then you're just going to end up in my car, right? We're not going to do that. Roll it down then. Roll it down or it's going to get broken. I promise you that. You're coming out of this car one way or another. If they say they want something done, I'm telling you right now, I'm going to break this window, I'm going to drag you out of this car. I'm just telling you now, that's how it's going to go. Oh boy. Just absolutely insane. Whispering, mumbling, all sorts of nonsense. Don't touch my flashlight. The flashlight, according to law, counts as an extension of my body. Do you understand that? Oh, look at that. So we're going to quit doing that shit. Got it? Ooh. Such a <sighs> Do you know Jesus? What? Do you know Jesus? I know Jesus. Jesus loves you. I appreciate that. I'm sure he loves you, too. Oh, I know he I'm does. sure he doesn't love when you steal from restaurants, though. Right? It's not good. <laughs> we could probably agree on that, right? 
you're not going in the house because you ain't free to go. Like I said before, you try to go in the house, you're going to end up in cuffs in the back of my car. You have a good mind. I can't. Don't get out. Don't get out. You're going to end up in my car in cuffs. Please stop. Oh, let me go my window. Yep, please just sit down. You need to move away from Just stay door. sitting down. You need to move away from No, door. just stay sitting down. Okay, I guess we're gonna go and cuss the mic down now. Here's the deal. Stop. Stop. I told you exactly what would happen. I don't know why you didn't believe me. Don't. You don't believe me still? I don't know what to tell you. Don't handle my arm like that. Well, then relax your hands. I've been completely calm and cordial with you this entire time. I don't know why you thought I was lying to you when I said exactly what was going to happen. Put your arm back here. Don't hold my arm back. Do not hold my arm back. Stop. Do not hold my arm back. Okay, and I told you to stop. Relax. 95, one pound, code four, you can slow now. Mm. All right, now we're uh, going to go take a seat in my car. Mm. Same thing I just told you was going to happen is what we're going to do now, okay? I don't know that I need to explain it to you entirely again. Mm. You got anything on you? Because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make sure you don't have anything on you before you sit in my car. First of all. You got all. any weapons or anything like that on you? No, I don't. Any don't, drugs? Don't hold my arm. Anything that's going to stick me, poke me, or hurt me in any way? Do not hold my arm. Okay, I'm going to take that as a no. Can you close my door? Yep, we're going to do all of it. Using the back of my hand here to check the waistline, got it? <laughs> all right, go ahead and uh, take a seat in there for me. Get, get in. Stop. I'll come around and talk to you from the front. All right. Her ID should be in the passenger seat, I think, right there. Or if she dropped that wallet. Hazel was like, I'm going to break the window. You're, you're coming out one way or another. And then I'm like, dude, if I don't want anything done, we're not going to do all this. And she's opening the door, trying to get out. Hazel was like, stay in the car. She opened it. He had his flashlight like up against her. She had a window out front. She reached up and grabbed it. <laughs> Tried to. She grabbed it, but he got it away from her. Yeah, she's. What are we searching for? We already did. That's what we're searching for. We're still. We're calling it. Huh? I mean, 30, it's, well, did she flee from him? It's a thirty-five dollar bill. So that's, that's all we got on. Him. Yeah. And she fled from Hazelwood, right? Like he stopped. He stopped her. Yeah, he let her out. Off. Yeah. Hey, did she like flee from you? Oh no, yeah, we were fully pulled over on the side of the road. Oh, she's still gone. Uh, when we start coaching. Yeah, we'll just take her. Huh? Yeah, and talk to the and then. Uh, uh, do we have anything to text her in the house? $35 tab. She's going to take her. She's going to take her. I mean, she's going. Just, I don't know. You can't. If you're yeah. taking her for fleeing or looting, you need to take her for the. Retail theft. Or the theft of services, whatever you want to do. And then. I'm not confident that the jail's going to hang on to her. Probably not. Because they're in state, and I'm going to end up at OSF for four hours. So I'm going to need to not Well, then you should have stayed in here. 
What I'm saying is, if you're going to take her over there, we can take the call. At this point, officers were shocked that the woman decided to run off a $35 bill and trying to decide what to do with her. I don't care. I just came over because no one else come back and heard her stuff. <laughs> Great. I'd take her over on the fleeing and the, and the retailing. Yeah, the theft, the theft, theft the services or whatever. Mm -hmm. I, could, huh? yeah. I think I, I think you're the only thing the services is like if you're pirating Wi-Fi yeah. and stealing utilities. And, you know, that's probably be you know, just tail theft, theft, theft general. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if that restaurant's going to be tail theft. Theft. Does she have theft priors? They said that's not the first time she's done it to them. They know it didn't sound like that. They probably should make it. We're going to pay the theft too. That's fine. They want it. Based on just so much. They're going to have you do it. That's good. It's not going to be a lot of shit. It's not going to be a lot of shit. It's not going to be a lot of shit. It's not going to be a lot of shit. Necessarily. Yeah, he, but as, as the manager, he wanted to run the road by the power. Oh, take her over to theft and uh, I'm still writing a ticket for expired registration, though. Um, let's take pictures of both evidence. Yeah. That way we have. Uh, yeah, we should take some of them down there. Yeah, that's good. When you write up, whatever you write up, just let us, or write it now that she had that stake, that way we can. Together, yeah, yeah, it was in it was in the box in the passenger seat. I sat here and jaw jacked her for five minutes and told her just wait here, just wait here, and then she decided to get out of the car. And so she ended up in the back of my car. Gotcha. So. All right. Well, yeah. 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 Here, officers are trying to read to her her Miranda rights, and he laughs like a madman. I have a way to carry questions. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be appointed to represent you free of charge. You understand that? Do you understand that, ma'am? Do you understand what I read you? Yes or no? Wow. If I happen to ask you, did you understand what I just read you? Yeah. Let's stay on topic. Okay. I don't. Are you willing to answer any of my questions? You don't have to, but I'd like you to answer the questions, but that's, that's up to you. You don't want to answer any of my questions? So do you want to answer any of my questions? I don't want to ask if you. She, okay. So were you at the Texas Roadhouse tonight? Okay. Did you pay for the food that you ordered? So the you did not. Did you see Jesus paying for it? But you didn't pay for it. Did you tell you told them that you weren't going to pay for it? Okay. Well, they said it wasn't. But you didn't you didn't pay so because Jesus took care of it, you didn't pay for it or anything like that. Okay, so you understand you're, you're also being charged with theft because the food was not paid for, right? Was your intention when you went in there to not pay for it? But you physically, like you were never going to hand over money or a credit card. Is that fair? No, I said, is it fair? That's a question. You, when you went to the Texas Airlines, would you never intend on giving them any money for the food you ordered? That's what she said. She told them to 
by the says he'll provide. Yeah. Okay, so because it was already taken care of, you were never going to hand them cash or a credit card for it? Okay, so you understand that that's kind of how this mess started. Because you didn't, maybe you assumed someone else was going to take care of it, but they didn't, right? Okay. All right, man. Well, I appreciate you answering my questions. I'll uh, close the door. Okay. Kind of watching you. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you.